But we begin this week in Essex County with the multi-million dollar plan to use abandoned mines to generate hydropower. Mariah Hydro, a company based in Albany, laid out its plans for about 100 townspeople this week at an informational meeting at the high school in Mariah. For more than 20 years, the company has been seeking permits to build a hydro project that would pump millions of gallons of water through 100 underground turbines in the abandoned Republic steel mines in Mineville. We're really not changing a whole lot. It's the water is already uh, in the mine, it's already full. We're not uh, changing the water courses at all. It's really very, very uh, limited, if any, environmental effects. Uh, that's what makes it so unique. The $264 million project would generate 260 megawatts of power that would be fed over existing transmission lines that used to power the mines and sold to the Northeast Power Pool. And while the town wouldn't benefit from any of that power, the project would generate a lot of tax money. A project of this size, how much of a boost would that be to the tax base? Well, you know, I don't want to throw numbers out at this point in time, but I will say it would be significant. Significant. It would have a profound impact on both the school district and the town. The company's president says the two and a half year construction phase would create up to 200 jobs and then up to 15 more full time jobs once the hydro project is up and running. Among the townspeople that turned out to hear about the project were a dozen workers with the laborers union, local 1822. Many of them helped build the new Champlain Bridge and would love to see this project become a reality. I want to say thank you for the investment. $265 million <clears throat> tax base coming to this area is, is phenomenal. You know, and it's a small community and it's going to make a huge impact. And 10 jobs in this community, you know, is, 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 a, is a good thing. The project has at least one major hurdle. The company has applied for a license from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. And if that's approved, engineers say work on the project could begin in about three years, with hopes of producing power in five to six years.